Hello you guys! I record this intro for I think 20 times already. Um, everything happens. I shut down completely. You can't really drop my camera because the camera is standing on my stable door and he just whipped it off and my camera was all over the floor in parts. But I managed to make it again. Um, today I'm going to vlog for you. Finally! <laughs> Um, I was planning to record a new vlog very very soon but vlogging takes a lot of time and even though it, it looks so easy everywhere I really spend time to record the clips I want and I already have footage in my head um, let's say that I really have high priorities when, I, when it comes to vlogging um, today is just a regular day it's already a little bit late because I overslept. Nothing new. Um, so yeah, let's take you with me today in the stables. Hi Oli. So you carry and Oliver are still in the stables, the other ones are in the riding arena. Um, I'm going to mock the stables first uh, because they will stay in sight today. And the stables are a mess. Let's say that. It's, this is Easter. I mean, yeah. <laughs> are still in the stables and the others in the riding arena why they are apart and why don't you just mock them all together and normally I do so Oliver has lies and then the carry also had lies because they share a stable so I couldn't prevent anything to do that right now I can only prevent the other horses to not get lies to keep them separate for a while until um, you carry and Oliver are completely clean and they don't have uh, lies anymore. The stables are mocked and I'm also very satisfied that it happened. Um, Dora is in the riding arena right now. She's eating her hay. Um, I actually didn't want to have her in the riding arena because feeding in the riding arena is a pretty a pain in the ass because the hay mixed with the ground, like the soil that's in the riding arena is like more of a, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a very thick fabric looking thing but it keeps the riding arena dry even if it storms like Sunday my arena is still rideable so right now I um, try getting as much footing out of the corner so even if she spills some hay out of her hay net, then I'm able to muck it out pretty easily. So yeah, that's the story. <laughs> so I'm about to wash a carry for the second time against lice. You need to repeat the washing every week. Um, so when you wash them seven days later, you wash them again and you do that three times in total. Um, I wash him with a special, I call it shampoo because that's easy to explain, but it's actually a mixture of water, like temperature, body temperature, water. Um, and then you apply some of this in the water and the water will turn white. So it's actually a mixture and this is called biomite. Um, and yeah, it's it's chemicals to kill the lice um, but the one thing it doesn't kill is the eggs of the lice 
nits. They call it nits in English. So you need to repeat it so many times to make sure that the lies that are coming out of the nits are killed immediately. And a nit takes seven days to come out. So that's why you need to repeat it every week until they're completely gone. Um, so I'm about to wash a carry. Oliver can be washed because Oliver has a very thick winter coat. Um, and if I'm going to wash him, he wouldn't dry up completely. So then I need to blow dry him. And that's just a lot of stuff. And I called my vet to tell her that. And now we're treat treating him with a dog medicine. As you can see, I filled up this and measured it to 10. And now I'm just going to mix it into the water. You will see that if I apply it, the water will turn white immediately. The water is, by the way, um, uh, like body temperature. So it's not hot, but it's also not very cold to make it a little bit more comfortable for you carry. Uh, here we go. On here, on his breast, you can clearly see the bald spot. And... <laughs> This was the first spot that I discovered and then my alarm bell started to ring because I was like, oh no, please don't be lies and heck yes, it was lies. Horse ready, mixture ready, ready to sponge them in completely with the mixture and kill those lies. <laughs> um, after I washed him and I'm really going to make sure that I massage in the mixture very good so I get to the skin and after I washed him he will get a blanket on him so he can dry up in a warm environment so in a stable that's the annoying thing about lice they mostly come in the winter they are not coming in the summer so you don't have washing weather and it's pretty cool to wash a horse um, so it's important before you start washing your horse right now that you have a good environment to do it in, that they can dry up completely and that they don't get a cold because of it. So yeah, let's start. everywhere his ears his hat his legs everywhere <laughs> and now he's wearing a blanket and I will put him back in the stables so he can uh, dry up on his own because you can't help the horse with a towel or anything or uh, get the excess water off them because you really need to make sure the mixture dries up on them and you don't take it off too soon I changed to a new sweatshirt because the other one was soaking wet because of washing your carry. And now I'm just going to eat something myself and going to have a little break. And after that, I'm going to walk with the dogs. I ate some lunch and <laughs> now we're walking with the dogs. I'm walking with two of them. This is Blue. Blue's a cane corso, and that's Bentley. Bentley is a great dame. So right now uh, we're probably going to walk a while so these boys will lose their energy and they will sleep for a couple hours when we get home. Sunday, as I mentioned before, we had a huge storm in the Netherlands. It was called Storm Fiera. And um, where I live, we don't have a lot of damage at all. But when, now, when I'm walking with the dogs, I can see a lot of trees that are falling down. And uh, there, further, further on, you even have a tree that's still standing, but it's leaning on a healthy tree but it's about to fall. So this is a tree that's fallen, but still not, because the other tree is supporting it.
So the dogs are walked and I'm back for a while now. I took a break again. Um, and right now I'm going to take a carrier's blanket off because if you have it too long on a horse, uh, the blanket absorb the water and if you have too long on a horse it will stay cold so I'm going to take it off so he can actually warm up on his own um, and then after I need to uh, babysit my little brother and probably tonight I will go back in the stables again to feed everyone and to ride so then you will see me back and right now I'm in the stables again, after dinner I eat a lot. Um, I'm going to check Oliver really quick and then I'm going to brush Ian and I'm going to lunch him. Not actually lunching him like the normal boring way. I'm doing some working hands to uh, help him a little bit more in his balance. Ian got an infection on his leg i think in november 2019 now it's already 2020 and now it's february um and it's finally healed and the wound is fully closed i will show you that in a bit when i'm brushing him um so i'm really picking up working again with him normally we make lots of trail rides with him uh, but because we couldn't of the big wound on his leg that causes the infection he lost muscle on his back so to get him back in shape and right now training him in the riding arena and normally with Ian that's a no-go he doesn't like it at all and he just you keep messing with him and it's very frustrating for both of you because he just doesn't like it and he will do everything to not do it um, but now I rode him two times in the riding arena and actually it's amazing how much progress he already made um, in that short of time and he really liked it so it was a huge breakthrough uh, in riding in the riding arena with Ian but because I was riding him I noticed a lot of things I felt on Yukari when Yukari was younger. So it's very useful that I learned how to keep a horse more balanced because of Yukari. So I'm going to try to get Ian fit again because uh, of riding in the riding arena. And because I still want to have a lot of priority in my training with him to keep it fun because I don't want him to get bored of it. I still want to combine it with riding, groundwork, riding, groundwork, riding, riding, groundwork just to switch it off completely so it keeps getting interesting for him. When we go into the riding arena he doesn't know what we're going to do and he keeps liking to work with me. Um, and I really think there's a potential to get him a balanced horse and to make him like a, a good riding horse uh, that you can enjoy the ride and you can actually accomplish something without frustration. Um, and it's very cool to see that I developed myself as a rider to do so because three, four years ago that was not in my mind at all and I didn't feel the problem when I was on a horse but because of your carry and lots of reading from uh, academic writing, art of writing I keep saying that wrong but you know what I mean academic art of writing <laughs> uh, because I've read a lot about that and I just keep developing myself as a writer and trying to listen to my horse's body and it especially helped me in um, taking the good lead on counter. There's so much more behind that. And I trained Jacari very fanatic on his balance. And we got the huge gift back. And that's now working on a good lead uh, of counter. And now we're actually talking about flying changes, which was not possible at all three months ago, even. So to 
take my knowledge from another horse to another is so cool and it makes me so happy and motivated to keep doing what I love because in horse in working with horses it, you never stop learning every day is a new lesson and you can develop yourself every month every year every day so yeah that's cool so that was my rant I'm sorry um, <clears throat> So now I'm going to check Oliver very quick to see if the medicine my vet gave me helped against the lice. If it didn't, then I need to wait a little bit longer. Um, and after that, I'm going to brush Ian and make him ready to do some groundwork. Um, groundwork slash work in hand. It's very green because we never did that together. So it will probably look very clumsy. Um, but yeah, let's do it. So here we have Oliver, um, you can see that his fur is very thick and fluffy. Um, when I got Oliver, he really needed to gain some weight and I'm very happy to see him making progress in that. Because when I got him, you could feel his spine very clear and right now you can already see that he's gaining weight a little bit more and he's getting thicker. So yeah, I love thick ponies. Oliver is done um, and now I'm going to get my brushes for Ian and prepare the bridle I'm going to use. Um, Oliver looks very good, his fur looks very good and I only saw I think two lice but they were dead. So that's a very 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 good sign. Um, so right now I'm just going to make everything ready for Ian and then I'm going to brush him and work with him. So last week I washed Ian his tail because Ian has the habit to poop over his own tail and it's gross. Um, and it makes a lot of knots in there and it's pure black even though it's white. <laughs> so I started braiding it up like this and knotting the braid through the braid itself so it's knotted up and it looks like this well you need to ignore this because that's just came loose in the stables um, and I actually really like it because it keeps the tail clean so yeah it helps so when I work with him or I have him outside I just take out of the knot and the braid and then his tail is still detangled and clean and then it looks like this but i'm choosing to work with rumbo mickleum today because it has a ring on the nose and they call it a cafeson and on the cafeson I can actually steer his head a little bit better you can see that if I move the ring you will see that his neck will move and for the eye only the neck moves but the back will also move so yeah a cafeson is just a very handy tool the first thing I want to teach you
hard thinker, so it takes him a while to figure out what I'm asking. And uh, you see how he's giving me. done. Ian is lunched and we worked in hand. Um, I filmed a little part but my camera stopped recording because my memory was full. Um, so I recorded still a little bit with my phone um, but the lunch part I didn't record because then I needed to focus on too many things and I really want to focus on Ian with lunching. Um, we countered, we did everything I said and I thought it was going to be a long road ahead it, but he did a very good job. So I took a step further every time I felt he was doing it good. Um, but Conter needs a lot of work as I predicted. Um, he's very strong Conter and really likes to speed up constantly because he finds it difficult to find his balance. Um, but we're working on that and with the things you saw, um, it will probably get better by time if we train it more and more. For now, I'm just going to braid his tail up and knot it up so it stays clean in the stables. God, you really want attention, don't you? So Eastern wants a little bit of fame. Topshot also really wants a little bit of fame. When the camera is here, he... Oh, yeah, there he goes. 
The horses are fed in a still sprayed up. It's very dark outside. Um, and over an hour, I'm going to sleep. So I think this is a good time to end the vlog. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this one because I sure did making it. Um, I really hope to do it one more time in the future, maybe even more and even more if you guys liked it. And let's see what we're going to do then. Leave a comment, leave a like, make sure you follow me on Instagram and then keep updated.